sitting. Thankfully, I'm standing up, and that's actually a huge improvement, um, because I have the, probably the squeakiest chair, like, ever, and, um, it was like a hand-me-down for my, for my younger brother, so, I don't know, I, I can't complain, but I don't like it, I really don't like it, I, it's a gaming chair, and I hate the gaming chair, it's so uncomfortable, but whatever, besides that, but, uh, for today's video, um, Let's see what 
it says on Freddie Grant to Congo. By the way, all these um, uh, notes and everything are on uh, Freddie Grant to Congo. Um, I will leave a link um, to all the colognes that I review in this video um, along with their Freddie Grant to Congo links too, so you guys can go check it out for yourselves. Um, okay, so let's go. So, oh, dude, whispering takes effort. Holy crap, like, can't believe I'm saying top notes are bergamot, um, the middle notes are Sichuan pepper, lavender, star anise, and nutmeg, and then the base notes are ambroxan and vanilla. And, I'm, dude, it's got the uh, magnetic cap as well, so, you know, I think Dior Sauvage was like the first one to after that, everyone started doing the whole magnetic cap thing, but, dude, it smells so good. Let's give, like, cap noises. Hopefully it's not too loud. But, oh man, dude, I want to spray this on, bro. This is so freaking good. Also, especially for Dear Sauvage, you want to be careful on um, where you purchase your colognes uh, or who you purchase your colognes from if you're buying it online. If you go to a retail store, no problem. You know it's going to be like, you know, like your Macy's or your like Bloomingdale's or like Neiman Marcus or whatever. Um, it's going to be 100% authentic. But if you're buying from eBay or even Amazon too, um, especially if it's from like a third party seller, that is not like super known, then um, try to stay away from them as much as possible. Um, there, are all, there are a lot of um, stories of people getting um, scammed, especially on this particular cologne. In fact, like I think a YouTuber that I watch, his first video, I'm not sure if it's, it was, it's like a smaller YouTube channel, um, but I really like his videos. He does a lot of cologne ASMR videos. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel. Uh, go drink my he's a funny guy um he's definitely like the like underrated as hell it's, it, it, he deserves at least like um, tw like two million subs he's, he's funny but uh he got or i think he got scammed maybe not but you want to always when you purchase one there's always like a badge code i don't know if you could see it but there's like a code on like the bottom of the bottle also on the box of the bottle. Um, you want to make sure that they both match. They can be faked, but for Dior Sauvage, usually it's etched. I don't know. Can you? Is it this one? Oh, so this one, you can't really see it, but it's like somewhere up here. Yeah, the light's not picking it up with the camera, but um, some people say like you gotta like scratch it also the lid you know you can check the lid so the best way to, to check if it's fake or not is take your bottle go to a um, retailer store and then compare the two you can like spray one on one arm and then the other one on the other and then just test it you know like i've done that twice um for some colognes that i have in the background and um yeah i'm happy to say that they were authentic Excuse me. But man, okay, so this one, dude. <laughs> Excuse me, but I gotta spray this on because, man, oh, I almost dropped the cap. Oh, dude, it smells like. So here's the atomizer. Get a good look. Oh, nice atomizer. is like probably if you're if you're entering like collecting clones and you're looking for like a very safe and really good you know um everyday uh usage type of cologne like a cologne you can use every single day dude look no further like this and you don't want like something that's like you want something that's a higher quality 
look no further, man. Sure, everyone has this thing, but so what? Like, I think um, there's like a, a statistic out online. Um, I think like only like 25 or like 30% of men um, actually use cologne. So only 30% of the male population wears like as your sauvage so technically i mean you're still gonna smell much better than the 70 percent of the rest of like the male population so you know why not and it's not too expensive for a designer cologne the dude oh my god this you can wear it like any occasion i swear to you you can wear it work like i've worn it to work tons of times you can wear it going out you can wear it hanging out with your friends, you can wear it in a formal occasion, in a casual occasion, you can wear it to school, dude, like this, I mean, it speaks for itself, uh, projection is very nice, you can spray like six of this, and it's not gonna fill up a room, but it'll, ha it'll have like, you know, like two feet, like two, two feet of projection for sure, you spray more, you'll definitely get more, that's if you want to get noticed, Super good, highly recommend. 10 out of 10, literally 10 out of 10. Oh, dude, I can, I can smell this all day. I mean, I spend way too much time on this, but okay, moving on. Okay, next up, we have another designer cologne. Um, this one I actually purchased uh, fairly recently, like I think like a month ago, um, I bought this on, on eBay from a very known seller, um, they actually have a website, and I purchased a lot of stuff on the website, yeah, it's called, uh, Forever Lux, um, you can actually purchase a lot of very good colognes for a very good discounted price, and, Rating the tapping noises for this bottle, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. The Dior Sauvage was a 10 out of 10. It had some amazing tapping sounds, in my opinion. But here it is. The cologne that I'm talking about is Prada Luna Rosa Black. Now, if you don't know about the Prada uh, line, they make some of the cleanest, smoothest, um, freshest, uh, colognes, in my opinion, a lot of their cologne has, like, a very similar DNA, um, it's kind of like this, how do I describe it, like, soapy, vanilla ick like, it's got that vanilla mixed with the soap, and it kind of gives it, like, that fresh, but sweet scent, and a lot of their colognes are known for that, like that sweet soapy scent. So, automatically, you know, this dude, this one smells similar to this new one that I got. And, I, but, dude, this, it, it's good. So, moving on, like, I, I'm going so off, off track here, but let me do the note breakdown for you guys. So, open okay here it is so brought a little rosa black let's see open up my phone and now it's not loading for some reason where is everything and okay so here it is so brought a little rosa black so the top notes for this are bergamot the middle notes are Angelica and patchouli and then the base notes are uh, coumarin amber and musk Man, dude This I, I actually wore this to work today um, I sprayed I sprayed um, a fairly decent amount. I sprayed like six I sprayed like six to eight sprays I, I spray a lot. I like spraying a lot, but not like too much. I think like between six to like eight sprays or even ten. Yeah. 
excuse me, I, dude, I had a crap ton of food before this. My friends and I went to go eat sushi, and I'm like a bull. But, so, I wore this to work, and, um, um, oh, I'm talking about the sprays. Like, I'm telling you, I keep forgetting and losing track of stuff, but I sprayed like six to eight sprays, and I was kind of disappointed with the, um, longevity so in terms of like scent right in terms of scent it smells top tier so oh dude right off the bat it smells like a you know you can smell uh what is it Tonka bean Oh, my brother's walking upstairs. You can smell the amber, the coumarin, and then you can you can smell the bergamot and the patchouli. Like, man, dude, it's so good. It legit like this is such a good going out fragrance. Honestly, you can wear this to anything you want. Like I wore it to work today. Um, it smells fantastic. Um, but uh, so in terms of like projection. Um, I only wore this a couple times. I bought it like a, like a month ago and, um, I only wore it like four times. Um, my friends loved it, like, but you know, they were like a foot away from me. So the projection is kind of like a foot to maybe like a foot and a half. I mean, if you spray more, it'll be more, but no, oh, dude, it's so good. It's like, oh man, it's just so good. Um, in terms of longevity, um, that's where I'm going to kind of deduct some points from this. Um, the longevity was not the best. Um, I think I got around like four hours on my skin, like three and a half to four hours on my skin. And keep in mind, this isn't Oud Parfum, so that's not like too bad. Um, Oud Parfums usually last uh, four to five hours or like three to four depending on like which one you got. Sometimes some of them last like forever, like some of the good ones, like the expensive ones. Um, but this one, like uh, surprisingly too actually, um, actually not that surprisingly, um, I have two more Prada um, colognes and one of them I had about a while ago. That one doesn't last like that long at all, but it smells fantastic, I love it. Um, so longevity, uh, I'm giving this um, 6 out of 10. Um, in terms of silliage, I'm giving it 6 out of 10. Uh, but in terms of the smell, 10 out of 10. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to edit that one out because that was probably loud. But very nice. Very good cologne. Uh, I would definitely recommend this. Dude, it smells so good. Like, I'm telling you. The smell is a 10 out of 10. It's perfection. And you, you can't go wrong with this, too. Um, you can honestly blind buy this, and you will be pleased. It's definitely... It's a very good, not like super mass appealing scent, but it'll please at least like 90% of the people on the face of Earth, for sure. There might be like that 10% that, that doesn't like it. But overall, I'm giving this cologne a 7 out of 10. Um, is it worth the price? Um, not really, in my opinion. Um, I think this is getting discontinued, so it's going to get more expensive later on, which sucks. But, um, if you can't get your hands on this and you want something, something else that's, like, nice, that's for, like, you know, date night, going out with friends, like, during the evening, the definitely, uh, topic one of the topics, but moving on to the next one. Next up. Okay, this one is a very expensive one, but a very good one. And unfortunately, okay, so let me get the notes out first. So um, this one is probably so this one is, okay, the tapping noises are not that great on this one, but next up, so we have, this is Initio Oud for greatness. Um, this one is a lot of money, um, but it is 
is so good. So this is made by the House of Inicio. Uh, it's a, a niche uh, fragrance brand, and they make some of the best smelling colognes I've ever smelt. Uh, a friend of mine, or me and a couple of my friends, we went to, um, I think it was like a Neiman Marcus. It was like a 25 minute drive from, from where I live. And uh, um, we were smelling the, we were, we were like testing out the, um, some of the Initio um, colognes. And man, dude, there's like this and two other that I smelt that are, they smell fantastic. But this is their most sold cologne in their entire collection. This is their number one for the House of Initio. Um, it's a very nice bottle. In terms of, oh yeah, I should do bottle design too. Um, Sauvage, I'm giving a six or seven. Nice, simple, basic, it looks nice. Brown Rosa Black, I'm giving a nine. It looks really nice, it's a really nice deal. But um, this one, I'm giving a 10. This thing looks crazy. Now, there is a clone for this uh, fragrance that is like, you can get it for like 20, 30 bucks, and it smells very close to this. But is it this? No. So let me do the note breakdown really quickly. Um, okay, so the accords, the main accords for Prada, for Oud for Greatness, is so the top notes are saffron, nutmeg, lavender. The middle notes are um, a car wood. Garwood Oud, and then the base notes are patchouli and musk. Now this, like all of the ingredients for this are all natural, so this thing lasts forever, and I'm serious about that. Um, oh my god, dude. If I were to like describe this in one word, it's straight up if you've never smelled oud before, um, it's a, it's like a, like a, I think like a type of wood, mainly in like Middle Eastern, they use it, um, Middle Easterns use it for like incenses and stuff, so it's a very like heavy, sweet type of, um, smell, but it's very expensive, so any cologne that has actual wood in it is guaranteed to be like minimum a hundred dollars or even more. It's a very expensive um, um, uh, ingredient for colognes. This one, dude, this one is crazy. Retail price is like 400 bucks for one of these. But I got it at a discount, so I only paid like half. Or like less than half even. But um, this is definitely a very good. Um, you can probably, you can wear this in. I would say fall and winter and early spring. But you know what? Um, I I know like Middle Easterns love their oud, so and they wear it in the summertime. So you could pull this off like in all four seasons, but I would recommend fall, um, winter, and early spring for sure. Because it's like a very nice sweet oudy scent sprayed on. This legit smells like, bro, it's like, it's like you're like an Arabian prince. And you're chilling on your like nice horse, pulling up, you know what I mean, in front of the crib. Maybe with like some like gold Rolls Royces and stuff, it's so good, man. Oh man, definitely get your nose on this if you can. It's so good. So in terms of um, the projection, uh, this definitely has like medium to medium high projection. You can definitely get like two and a half, three, three feet of projection. Um, you don't really need a lot um, for this, for it to smell, for it to project, like for other people to smell you because of, you know, the ooh that's inside of it. Um, 
that's why wood is so expensive and so like good um so in terms of projection it's like a eight um eight and a half nine out of ten for sure uh in terms of in terms of love like um longevity dude this thing lasts for days on my skin it'll last like six to seven hours on my clothes dude it'll my clothes will smell like this for like the next like four days and it'll it'll be like as if i just sprayed some so it is very nice definitely recommend it but the tapping noises are kind of lacking so i'm gonna deduct some points off that for like tapping i'm gonna give it like a
reminds me of um, Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle de Parfum. And that one is literally full of cardamom. So this is basically a more subtle, lighter version of that. And if you smelled Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, Le Parfum, then you know what I'm talking about. Or if you smell this, then you know what it is. But um, so in terms of um, projection, um, now this is an Eau de Toilette. Unfortunately, I wish they would release this in the Eau de Parfum because if they did, everybody would go crazy over it. Um, in terms of projection, it's not good. Um, you have to spray a lot for someone to like really smell you like a foot in a foot and a half away. So in terms of projection, I'm giving this like a uh, three out of ten. It the the performance for this is very poor, but it smells fantastic. Like this becomes like a skin scent. A scent like when you spray it. Um, you don't really smell it, you have to really dig in. Um, so I would definitely recommend this if you are going to be in a more intimate type of, um, like an intimate type of environment where you know you're going to be really close to people. Um, then when they smell you, dude, they will, bro, they will never stop smelling you, it's that good. Um, so, longevity is also not good. The longevity is only, for me, it lasts an hour and a half. That's it. And then it just becomes skin scent. On my clothes, it lasts like three to, like three to four or five hours. But that's because it's on your clothes. Like, any cologne will last longer on your clothes. Um, but the scent is 11 out of 10. It's so good. And you know what? I'm going to spray on some on me right now, like, I'm smelling like everything, but let's spray this on, let's spray it on this forearm. Man, dude, bro, if you're going to go out of date with your girl or your wife or your, your significant other, definitely put this on. Or if you're going to get a bit more intimate, definitely put this on like 30 to 30 minutes, like an hour before that, you know, you, you, you know, um, put this on. It's so, so freaking good. Um, overall rating 6.5 or 6 out of 10. The smell is fantastic, but the um, performance is poor, unfortunately. Luckily, it's not too expensive. Like, it's not like, it's not gonna like break your wallet, but, you know, depending on your budget. Um, but, you know, you can, you can pick this up for like 50 to $60, and you have to spray away, like, minimum, minimum, eight to 10 sprays with this thing, if you really want it to project enough to where people don't need to be like up close to you. And next up, or actually the last cologne that I'll be showcasing for the video. This is a pretty long video. I kind of like talked too much and my camera's actually about to die. So we got to do this quick. So next up we have Prada Luna Rosa Ocean Eau de Parfum. here so the top notes for this are grapefruit the middle notes are woody notes and frankincense and then the base notes are vanilla and ember extreme dude this came out uh, really recently actually 
Ocean EDT. The original one is a very, like one of the best summertime um, colognes you can buy. And this one is the Oud Parfum version of it. Now, ironically, or it, it's weird, they put it in the, in the Ocean line, but this smells nothing like a... Alright, we are back. Um, my apologies for that. Uh, the camera died on me. And I felt I only have one battery. Uh, very, very beginner move. But we were on the... We were on the Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. So, as I was mentioning before, um, this was um, initially thought to be a summer and like springtime cologne, like a Osonic fresh, um, kind of like a ocean, like a oceanic salty fresh uh, type, of, type of scent, like people thought it was going to be like that, just like the EDT, but stronger. But no, it's like a completely different cologne. Um, I don't know why they decided to put it in the ocean line, but they did. And, but that doesn't take away. I mean, bottle design is a 9 out of 10. Very, very nice. Uh, with the blue and the red, the dark blue, the red and the black. It looks super, super, super clean. I just moved the mic a tiny bit. You can't really smell it from the cap because um, it's not one of those closed caps. I don't know why. Prada always has like these like clear plastic caps for some reason. But I hope it's not too loud. But I mean, dude, tapping noises on this thing. Sounds. I mean, like, do like over the camera too. <laughs> Gotta go crazy with it. Um, but Battle Lunar Rosa Ocean. In this is definitely a very good fall, uh, fall, uh, winter and spring um, cologne. It's weird because the ocean is supposed to be a summertime cologne, but this is not something you could really wear in the oh, in the summertime. You can, definitely, but mainly in the evening, not in the daytime. And that is because of the vanilla note in this. This cologne smells very, like you can smell the vanilla heavy. Um, not like heavy in a bad way. It's definitely the more dominant ingredient within this cologne and let me spray some um so i used up the only spot that i really have left is like here so i'll spray some there so the atomizer but by the way guys for the prada um line the atomizer is super strong
terms of projection. Projection and silage. With six sprays, you can definitely get two feet of projection with this. Like the sand bubble is very nice. Um, so for projection, I'm giving it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Will you fill a room? If you spray enough but you usually won't it's more like if i'm walking past you you will smell me but like like close past you it's like you're walking past someone in like a supermarket or like a grocery store um, in terms of longevity this gets on my skin it gets me around five to six hours that vanilla and the amber extreme really kick in, like, in those five to six hours. And it smells fantastic. I love this so much. I'm really glad I picked it up. Um, it is pricey. This is around, like, 100 to 100, like, 120 to 130 dollars. I bought it off a discounter on eBay for 100 bucks. Um, it is fairly new, um, but for me, in my opinion, um, it was worth it. I love this a lot, and I wore it actually quite a bit since I purchased it, like two, two months, like a month and a half or two months ago. Um, longevity, five to six hours on the skin, on the clothes, you can get a day and a half easily. It's that good. So longevity for me gets a nine out of ten very solid performance and the scent is an easy 9 out of 10 or you know what 10 out of 10 if I give 10 out of 10 out of 10 to, to black this is 10 out of 10 for sure so overall I would give this a 8.8 .8 out of 10 for sure this is definitely something that you can blind buy but would I recommend you to blind buy it if you're gonna blind buy a cologne, it has to be something that can be worn like in any occasion, in any day, like Dior Sauvage. Um, out of these five, obviously. Okay, we are back. I almost knocked over my camera. Dude, I am like such a rookie right now. Um, but going back to what we were talking about, um, if you are going to blind buy a cologne, uh, it's got to be something that's like, that you, that you can wear, like in any occasion, if it's your first cologne that you're blind buying. If you already have something like that, like something that you can wear on the daily, a signature scent, as they say, then go buy whatever else cologne you want. Um, this one is a very good, it's versatile for the fall, spring, and winter time. You can rock this in the summer, but mainly in the evenings. This is definitely a more evening scent in the summertime. But in spring, like early spring, winter and fall, you can wear it as much as you want. But I would give this in the top five easily of fall fragrances of all time. Not of all time, but in my collection. I actually gotta make a video like that too. I probably will. Um, but anyway, that is going to be at the end of the video. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, my camera's about to die again, but it's okay. Uh, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And uh, let me know what you guys think about the video, um, about like the background and stuff. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.